Angelina Jolie is starring in a Marvel movie, and you thought this day would never come. Here's what we know about the Eternals so far. With the Infinity Saga all wrapped up, Phase 4 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe is shaping up before our eyes. This includes a film adaptation of The Eternals, a comic series by Jack Kirby first introduced in 1976. Originating millions of years in the past, The Eternals are a genetically engineered, super-powered offshoot of the human race. Nearly all of these Marvel superheroes and their villainous counterparts, the Deviants, haven't been exposed within the cinematic universe yet, with one exception, Thanos. They would all cease to exist. I call that mercy. While the story is reportedly focusing on Cersei, the one Eternal most adept at manipulating molecules and atoms, Kevin Feige has made it clear that the Eternals is being built around an ensemble. The Marvel chief has likened the film to Guardians of the Galaxy, not tonally, but in terms of introducing a new group of people to fans at once. Casting began with one of the biggest stars in Hollywood, Angelina Jolie, to play the role of Cersei. In the comic series, Cersei is known for her desire to cohabitate with humans and throw the occasional rager when she's not fighting the deviants. Bodyguards Richard Madden is in talks to play Icarus, an eternal who derives his name from the boy who soared too high in Greek mythology. His character is said to possess numerous abilities, like cosmic energy manipulation. And you thought Rob Stark was a formidable opponent. I don't need a servant to do my beheading for me. Silicon Valley's Kumail Nanjiani is attached in an undisclosed role. The comedian has proven he can handle dramatic roles as well, but you'd have to assume he'll be dropping a one-liner or two in The Eternals. When does a pond become a lake? I wonder if it's depth. Ma Dong Song, one of the most bankable stars in South Korea, joins the cast in another mystery role, marking his debut in an American film. Directing the pick is Chloe Zhao, who beat out a short list of filmmakers, including Bumblebee director Travis Knight and Nicole Castle, who just directed the pilot of Watchmen for HBO. Much like Thor Ragnarok director Taika Waititi, Zhao came up through the ranks of independent filmmaking, with films like The Rider, which won the CICAE Award at Cannes in 2017. Drawn to really poignant storytelling, Zhao should bring a unique approach to the film, and will be the first woman of color to direct a Marvel pick. The script was written by cousins Matthew and Ryan Furpo. Before penning The Eternals, the two co-wrote Ruin, the script that topped the blacklist in 2017, before going into pre-production with Margot Robbie attached to Star. There's no official release date, although Marvel has published the schedule for its next eight films, without specifying which movie goes with which day yet. So, the chances of guessing the right day are 12.5%, basically the same odds of being a billionaire if you live in San Fran.